Yo, yo, man, yo, fuck with your boy, Angry Fan 007, nigga, man. Shout out to the whole fucking Angry Fan movement. What up, niggas? You good? Man, I'm good. I'm alive. I'm beefing, bro. Yo, we got to talk about Cortez and B-Dot, bro. We got to talk about this shit. First and foremost, shout out to King of the Dot, man. I see you, niggas. J-Pro, Avocado, the Battles of the Bunker. Shout out to you, niggas, man. Shout out to you, niggas. Now, I'm going to keep it 100. I was still working, and then when I got home, the stream started fucking up on me and shit. So I had to wait till today to really be watching shit. It kept going in and out, you know what I'm saying? But today it was cool. Look, bro. This battle was fucking fire, B, all right? Straight up and down. First and foremost, motherfucking, it's weird because Cortez issued the challenge to make it an extra minute, but B-Dot has to go first. But B-Dot wanted him going first anyway because Cortez won the corn sauce, you know what I'm saying? And B-Dot actually addressed that at the end of the first round. That shit was fire the way he put it in the battle. Like, yo, so B-Dot comes out and it's like, He's not preaching at all, really. This motherfucker is on some um, blood shit, Pyru shit. He's he's all over Cortez, barking on this nigga and shit. Like, he's talking at L.A. shit. Like, he, yo, my niggas, we've never seen B-Dot like this before. We've seen him preach the whole Lux compare. We've never seen him on some street shit like this before, though. He's on some street shit in his first round. It's just like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, shit. This nigga is, like, wilding on Cortez. He's wilding on this nigga. I'm talking about he's wilding on this nigga, okay? Cortez goes and shit, and Cortez, now, I'm gonna tell you what, I, I see a lot of niggas say that, um, Cortez won this shit two to one, I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm just being real, I got the first round debatable, bro, I got the first round debatable, I'm gonna tell you why you might get that shit to Cortez, though, Cortez did something very smart, he started off with a story, like, I don't know if it was him or not, you know what I'm saying, but he started off with a story of a, uh, a nigga, be, a Puerto Rican dude being raised by a dope fiend, as a mother and shit, you know what I'm saying, and it was kinda long, that's why this shit was so dope. It was long, so it carried on. And, and he ended it. It was a perfect story, actually. It was perfect. So, but, and it took up a lot of fucking time before he really got into his shit after that. You know what I'm saying? But the story was fucking fire and shit. And he correlated that shit with the, you see how uh, uh, I'm Spanish, you black. You know what I'm saying? But every color here could correlate. I don't want to break the bars down and shit. But the shit was fire at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Then from there, he's going back and forth. And he's kind of barking on this nigga B. Dot and shit. Called, uh, mentioning Brother Polite. And it's a lot of shit. It was dope. It was dope, you know what I'm saying? First round is debatable. It's debatable, but a lot, a lot of niggas got Cortez. I'm not mad at it because the story's fired. I'm not mad at that shit. You know what I'm saying? So you can really say Cortez. Matter of fact, fuck that. Cortez got the first round. I'll, whatever. He got the first round. I'll give Cortez round one. You know what I'm saying? Round two. This nigga B dot is just scheming from scheme to scheme, Rockefeller scheme, fucking uh bad boy scheme. He's mentioning everybody. I ain't scheme. This nigga's just like now he's boring, but he's talking at the same time. Bruh, is it, yeah, B dot is nice. B dot is nice. Fuck that shit, bro. I'ma come clean with you, B. Like, like, like fuck that, B. They like you know, D Danny Mines, I fuck with you too. Danny, this, like, yo, B. I know you niggas rep LA. Y'all rep the West, man. Y'all can suck the y'all can kind of step aside a little bit and let this nigga B dot just be the face of this shit, bro. Like, no one is gonna hold it down like this nigga can. No one is. This, I'ma tell you what the problem is with this nigga B dot. Why? And I'm not, no, don't, I'm not a dick rider. I'm just being honest. He's a new nigga. So we got to look at this shit. I'm really not thinking he's going to be going at Cortez like this. Like, he's really all over Cortez in this battle. All three rounds. That's what niggas have to look at this shit here, B. It's really all three rounds that he's wigging. And Cortez is wigging back. Like, I'll be real true, B. I got B-Dot winning rounds two and three. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he has them two, three, two and three rounds. The period. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm, I don't really have a debate with that shit. Round three was just stupid. All right, this nigga's talking to Cortez in Spanish. Then he looks at him like, man, you probably don't even know what I said and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's just like fucking, uh, uh, know your history. Like, he's talking to this nigga fluently in Spanish. It, my nigga, it, it, it instantly made me wonder, did Cortez even know Spanish? You know what I'm saying? Because I want to know, does Cortez know what this nigga was telling him? I really want to know that. Cortez told me that he pretty much said the same thing that he just said in English. I don't know, because when the nigga's saying, like, it's crazy. He's like, these Spanish, and he, at first he was hyeno, and it, like, he knows his history. That's why this nigga B-Dot is so dangerous, because now I'm seeing it. He's aggressive as fuck when he wants to be, because he was aggressive as fuck this whole battle and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's on that he's on that street shit when he wants to be. I think he he kind of, like, the whole Pyro shit, he did it a lot, this battle. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to he did it a lot. But fucking, he can be on that street shit when he wants to be on it, and he's smart. That's the fucked up thing, is he's smart. He's not just coming at you. This motherfucker will come at you about you. He will come about your ancestors, about how the fuck y'all even came to America. This nigga knows so much shit. You really cannot predict what this nigga's going to say. Like, straight up and down. You not. You not going to predict what this nigga got to say. You know what I'm saying? I think Cortez's second round was dope, too. Cortez, that load of Lux joint in the beginning, 
uh, with them going into a bar and all that shit. I'll be honest, it didn't really hit me like that. Like, I, I get it, but I think you could have used another Lux analogy, something different. Like, Cortez was really wild at the end of round one, too. He was kind of, like, barking on this nigga beat out. Be, I'm going to be real. Cortez got round one. It's somewhat debatable, though, but he got round one. I'm just being honest, Cortez, you know what I'm saying? I am not going to sit here and say you clearly got that round. Like, beat, you got to go back and watch beat out first round. He was wilding. He was wilding. Now, that, the way beat out ended round two, now, that was, I don't know if he was in the middle of a scheme or not, but he kind of ended, like, I don't know if he was going to choke or not. I'm not saying he choked because he didn't, you know what I'm saying? But it seemed like, I don't know if he was in the middle of a scheme or if he was done or not, but, I mean... That's the only flaw that I think this nigga had. And it wasn't really a flaw. I just don't think he ended it. I don't think that that's the way he intended to end it that round. Because I'm listening to the words and shit. You know what I'm saying? So he ended it. Didn't look crazy or nothing like that. But I just wonder, was there more to that before he called time? You know what I'm saying? I think Cortez's second round was dope. You know, he's coming that beat out. He's calling him a hypocrite. And, um, 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 oh, man. When he brought up the fact that, um... B dot chose smack over fucking uh I mean shows organic over smack so you still working for the white man and shit and you know what I'm saying you you ain't battle all yeah you here for a Christmas check that shit was dope and shit you know what I'm saying uh, I mean, he was just like yeah it's a white man's holiday and shit so I mean you I mean it, it was it was dope Cortez was really talking to this nigga it was a fire Cortez I'm not trying to take nothing away from this nigga you know what I'm saying Cortez really was wigging all three rounds also he was wigging all three rounds I'm not saying he wasn't I'm just this surprised that B dot like, he's, he's really here. This nigga's really the truth, my nigga. He ain't no motherfucking joke. And y'all niggas is gonna see after this battle, we can stop the load of Lux comparisons. Like, he don't rap like Lux. Period. Period. I mean, you can say he's... He does... The, you can say that. All right, cool. He don't rap like Lux, my nigga. Y'all gonna see this battle here. And I'm gonna tell you one thing. This motherfucker is a problem, bro. And I can see now, even if he go... Like, yo, it's crazy, B. Because this motherfucker, the way he writes... And his delivery be so strong, but it be blunt. And his his word, like he's word, his whole second round, he's just scheming. But it's a one time thing. It's not like you have to rewind it and go back. He's still straight to the point and being mad blunt and being mad direct. Like this, like he's mad direct. His whole battle style. It's like this nigga, man, bro. I'm I'm so glad this. Shout out to fucking uh. L-A-B-G, man. L-A Battlegrounds, bro. I'm so fucking glad this nigga is here, bro. Like this nigga is different. Okay. I like Rum Nitty, I like Briz, I like T-Top. I'm not trying to knock none of them niggas. No shit. Those are some of my favorite ballads. This nigga here is different, okay? He's wait till y'all see this shit. Y'all gonna be like, damn. You really gonna sit back and be like, yo. And y'all gonna stop hating on the nigga and shit. Y'all gonna sit back and disrespect the nigga for what he do. Like, like you can't do more than, like, I mean, bro. He's preaching. He's on street shit. He's using wordplay. None of this shit is whack. Like, none of this shit is whack. And he's going up against Cortez, a nigga who pen is crazy. Y'all can sit there and say, oh, Cortez ass all the fuck you want. But the truth of the matter is a lot of niggas can't beat this nigga, bro. I don't give a fuck what niggas say. Now, a lot of niggas can't. Y'all like niggas who can't even go, go through three rounds flawlessly. Let's be serious here, bro. This nigga Cortez pen is crazy. And this is one of the best Cortez's out there. But this motherfucker B-Dot is fire. Period. Period. You know what I'm saying? I got this shit. B dot rounds two and three. That first round is debatable. You know what I'm saying? I'll go with Cortez because that story was fire, but I still honestly believe that bitch is debatable. And if a nigga says uh, uh, B dot beat him three zip, he has an argument to really say that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't mean Cortez is whack. It just means that B dot was better every round. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, that story was fire. Cortez, you got round one. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck about round one. You know what I'm saying? Because B dot got rounds two and round three, to be honest with you and shit. And he really made, a, 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 it was really a fire battle. But at the end of the day, bro, I don't want to focus crazy wild on B dot. You know what I'm saying? Because Cortez did his thing. But it's just like, yo, I'm kind of surprised. It's just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like Cortez, really, you went there. I really thought Cortez is gonna put that work in and clearly beat this nigga and show his levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look at it. B dot only got like four or five battles. His first time ever on King of the Dot. I'm not thinking he's going to go there and, and beat a comfortable Cortez who's on another level with his pen and, and been battling for years. I'm not thinking like that. And it's just like B-Dot, in my opinion, actually did that shit. And it's time to stop even playing games. The fact that this, they want this nigga to do a PG don't even make no fucking sense right now, bro. Like, this motherfucker needs to start battling some names now. Like, fuck that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga, like, let's go. Let's get it. We ain't even going to play with this nigga. This nigga is nice. Ain't no point in him taking no whack-ass battles and, and no no pointless bull. No. Fuck that. Fuck that. This nigga be, uh, he beat out of here, bro. Y'all going to see, though, man. Shout out to King of the Dot. Fire your battle. I'm out.